In this video, I'm going to be doing a, another administrative video. I'm going to give you an idea for a 10-man rifle squad or a 10-man infantry squad. Now, when you initially start out, everyone will have whatever weapon that they are able to get a hold of. So it could be a shotgun, could be a rifle, could be a carbine. But what I'm going to give you is a breakdown of special duties for each person, what type of weapon they should get, and what type of skills they should learn. You will be capturing weapons. That's going to happen if there is a war. Well, you need to know who gets that particular weapon. And that person needs to know what their duty assignment will be they need to study ahead of time how to use that weapon and how to use it effectively for that job. Now I did some modifications. Typically you'll have a squad leader who would be in charge overall. But what you can do is make your squad leader also your alpha team leader and you still have a team leader in your Bravo team. Now to help out in the Alpha team in case the squad leader has to link up with Bravo team to lead them somewhere for a particular mission, you have an ATO, an assistant team leader. This other person that's on the Alpha team is an SDM, squad designated marksman. So they should have a scoped rifle. Uh, preferably semi-automatic, but it's whatever they can get a hold of, whatever they're comfortable with. That weapon they can purchase now. I'm going to give that person right now an EBR, an Enhanced Battle Rifle. Um, research it if you don't know what it is. It's a modified M14. Now, your squad leader, he should have some type of carbine or a rifle. So for right now, we're going to give him an M4. Now to go along with his duty position, he should have a pair of binos to assist him. Now, the other duty positions we'll have, we'll fill out right away. In your Alpha team, you will have an anti-tank gunner or anti-tank soldier. You should also have a person who will be designated as your squad automatic rifleman. on that team. Now in your Bravo team you have your team leader, you'll have your saw gunner or squad automatic rifleman. You'll have another anti-tank gunner. You'll have a machine gunner and you'll have his assistant gunner. Now that is the duty assignments. So each person should study what they need to know for those duty assignments. They also need to study the weapon systems that they would be expected to carry. Study the Western issued weapons and also the Russian and former Comblock weapons because there's no telling what you would get a hold of. Now, to make things simpler, your team leader and your assistant team leader should be your grenadiers. So if you capture an M203, an M230, or its Russian equivalent, that's who it would go to. So they will be equipped with the 203. Your 
saw gunners or a squad automatic rifleman, they'll be issued a 249 or its variant if it's a NATO military. If it's Russian, it'll be an RPK. Your anti tank gunners should carry rifles or carbines. We'll give them right now M16s or they would get AKs. Uh, they should get a folding stock type weapon, preferably it'll just be easier for them. Your machine gunner, he will carry whatever he gets off the battlefield. It could be an M240, an FN Mag 58, or a Russian PKM, or you know some other belt-fed machine gun. The assistant gunner should also carry a rifle, so we'll give him an M16. He also carries extra ammunition for the machine gunner and the spare barrels and the tripod. The machine gunner should have the cleaning kit for that weapon. Now, our anti-tank gunners, they'll end up with you know, additional weapons. It could be M72 Laws. It could be American M136 AT4s. Or it could be Russian RPG-7s. It's whatever you just happen to get a hold of. They should learn as much as they can on all those weapon systems and their equivalents. So we'll give them Laws. Yes, they do still issue the M72 Law Rocket. They currently issued the M72A3, the last I had heard. Now, additional assignments that you will see. Your Alpha team, you will need an EPW team, an Enemy Prisoner of War team. The people that should be on that because of the weapons should be your squad designated rifleman and your AT gunner. Your saw gunner is going to be carrying too much ammo in order to be able to operate effectively on your EPW team. Now on your Bravo team you're going to have to have your Aiden Litter team. The CLS, or Combat Lifesaver, should be your assistant gunner. And the person that would help him carry litters and, provide, and perform first aid will be the anti-tank gunner from Bravo Team. Now, each person should now get a hold of the appropriate gear. So your team leaders, they should have grenadier vests or at least have pouches to be able to handle 30 millimeter or 40 millimeter grenades. 30 millimeter if they're Russian, 40 millimeter for NATO countries. Your saw gunners should get a hold of some type of pouch in order to carry additional drums. Your machine gunner should also carry additional uh, supplies in order to perform the weapon of a machine gunner. He should have range cards, he should have pens and that stuff with him. If possible, I'd say get a hold of a tripod and have your assistant gunner carry it so he gets used to it. Everyone should learn the job that they would be expected to perform in combat as you get the weapons. So after an ambush, you ambush an enemy rifle squad, well the team leaders know to grab the grenade launchers, the anti-tank gunners know to grab the anti-tank weapons, your automatic riflemen know to grab the squad automatic weapons, your machine gunner knows to grab the machine gun. The assistant gunner knows to grab the spare barrels and extra belts of ammunition. 
everyone will have extra belts of ammo to assist the machine gunner, one or two, packed inside their gear. But the bulk of the stuff will be with your assistant gunner. Everyone needs to learn as many jobs as possible, but for right now they need to learn what their expected duty position is and learn it to the best of their abilities. The team leaders need to learn how to be, take over a squad leader, and the soldiers underneath need to learn how to take over as team leaders and also how to take over as squad leader should the need arise. This is just one example. You can also copy examples from history. Modify them to your expected needs for your area. Now, to all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movement, always remember, Essay